three, four. Well, here we are in the third, and Maeda's up, ready, getting ready. That's Alvarez launches, and Jordan Alvarez's postseason success continues. Three nothing Astros. He almost single-handedly won the, the, the division series last year against Seattle. And he has given Houston a 3-0 lead on Ober and the Twins here in the third as Kyle Tucker takes ball one. One too many change-ups. We've been talking about him throwing change-ups, throwing change-ups. First at bat to Alvarez, change-ups early in the count. Blew him away with two strikes. Strike him out. Change-up right there. Alvarez does not miss it. That ball was smush. Didn't it look like he was timed up for that? He was just on his heels waiting for that change up that hole at bat, wasn't he? He was 100%. He, he's smart. See the grip? It's up right down the middle. And Alvarez knew it as soon as he let the bat go. <laughs> yeah, he did. And Tucker ahead of the count, flips it foul, two and one. That's middle middle basically on a change yeah. of that's the wheelhouse of Jordan Alvarez a powerful swing. You know I've felt that both sides. Alvarez with a response his second of the game off the pole. Alvarez said he got that. <laughs> That's a curveball, doesn't do much. Alvarez clips it so far out front. It's the Chick fil A foul pull down the right field line. Who was it? Oh, yeah. Called strike three, fastball at the knees to freeze Tucker. Two down here in the seventh. Very difficult part of the lineup. Bregman's aboard for Alvarez, who lifts one to deep left center field. Back goes Stevenson at the wall, and it's gone. Another shot for Jordan Alvarez, his third of the series, and the Astros are finally on the board in the eighth. We talked about it yesterday. Sometimes the biggest jump jolts you can get for your team is the starter getting out of the game, giving you some good mojo. Finally, we can go after somebody, you know, and maybe that's what's happening here. This is what happened yesterday. Yep. We'll see if it happens the other way around. Minute Maid Park is back to life after this swing from Alvarez the other way for a homer. We well, think you have a contain tonight. He's 0 for 3 with two punches. And then all of a sudden, he just lays into this ball to left field. Stevenson thought he had a chance. He just sneaks over the left field wall high up there. This guy's unbelievable. <laughs> six Down 6 nothing. All of a sudden, the crowd's kind of back into it. The Astros are feeling a little bit in their dugout. That's a hit. 
not crying. It just wasn't there. See, that's a hit, too. That's a hit. <laughs> same spot for Alvarez hugging that first baseline. It's going to be the same result. He's going to end up at second base. Kepler got to it fast, as fast as he could. But Jordan Alvarez officially his fourth hit of the series, all for extra bases. Stop pitching to this dude. I know there's nobody on, but this guy is an animal. Sonny Gray tried to go to the well one too many times, tried to throw a fastball in. Same ball, same pitch Alvarez hit his first to bat. This one's hit a little bit harder. And even with Kirilov back, it beats him down the right field line for a leadoff double. I know Sonny wants that one back. Ahead in the count like that. And Alvarez strokes one down the right field line. Another breaking ball. And Alvarez punches it into the right field corner for a third time. And this guy is inevitable right now. He's got five hits in this series, all for extra bases. Stop pitching to <laughs> You've been saying it, AJ. You've been saying it. Really cool, symmetrical moment today. Alvarez hits one high to right field. Pretty well struck. Back to the wall and gone. This guy is on a different planet right now. Jordan Alvarez with his fourth home run of the series. His second off over, and it's 7-1. to one. My goodness. Don't pitch to him. I don't care what the situation is. It's unbelievable. Buddy, you played. I'm, I, I hesitate to make the comparison, so I won't make the comparison for the two guys directly. But you played with Barry Bonds. And this is the type of like stuff you saw from Bonds where no matter who the pitcher was, no matter what the pitch was, he was hitting it a long way. And you're saying you got to treat him like Bonds. Don't pitch to him. It's unbelievable how great he is in the division series, especially, but in the postseason. And again, we forget he ended the regular season, the September player of the month. He yeah. was hurt for a lot of the year. This guy's going to probably win an MVP at some point in his career if he gets enough pitches. Now, Adam, he's not afraid of anything. They tried to go in. They missed location up. When he hit it, I was like, that might be too high. But as soon as the right fielder turned around and nice stopped catch. running, it's a homer. He's got that leg kick, too. He's got that leg kick where when you're pitching against him and he gets that leg up and you're, you're kind of like you, you go to you go to throw it to the home and you're like, I don't know if I want to throw it right now. It seems like he's timed up. He always seems like he's timed up for whatever you have to throw. His balance is really good right now. Man, he's like you said. I think he's playing a different game. He's he's locked in.